I got a little bit bigger lawn than I want to run with the walk behind. It's taken me an hour, hour and a half. It's time to think about a rider, right? So today we're going to talk a little bit about the Husqvarna 100 and 200 series tractors. We got the TS-142X and the TS-242XD. Very similar in cut, obviously a 42 inch, but there's major differences between the tractors as we move up. So the TS-100 series of Husqvarna tractors are kind of their basic tractor um, with the stamped mower deck, with the Briggs and Stratton engine, still a hydrostatic transmission, great little tractor. But then we're gonna look at the XD that gives us their clear cut fabricated mower deck, goes to a locking differential hydrostatic transmission and a Kawasaki engine. Here's some features and some things you wanna look at when you're looking for a lawnmower, guys. Um, it's very easy to get call outs on, it has this engine or this size of engine or it has a cast iron front axle. But let's talk about a few things that we often miss that really are important. So one thing is a hydrostatic transmission. In the last few years, we've had some automatic transmissions come out, problems. Stick to the hydrostatic transmission. So the TS-142 has a hydrostatic transmission. It's got a 42 inch, what's called a stamped mower deck. That's pretty much the normal. Everybody runs a stamped mower deck, except as we move up into the better series. Frame, what is my frame like? What is my steering like? Am I greasable here? Am I not greasable there? What's the deck leveling system like? Those are some things that you really want to look at as you get into a mower is digging just a little bit deeper. And as we compare the two models, you'll see some benefits between moving up to the 200 series. So the TS-142 has a 20 horse Briggs & Stratton V-twin engine. Always go V-twin. Those single cylinders, they knock, they're loud, they don't have the power. So stick with a V-twin, whether that is a Briggs or a Kawasaki or a Kohler. The hydrostatic transmission, what's that mean? Hydrostatic is a fluid drive transmission. It's smooth, it's instant. I don't have to shift or clutch. So my foot here, I rock this pedal forward. The further I push, the faster I go. I let off, I'm in neutral, and I can instantly hit this other pedal right here, the reverse pedal, and back up. I don't have to touch anything with my left foot to clutch or break through it. So. This has the uh, manual blade engagement. I'll point that out here in just a minute on the 242, which has different. So this right here, manual blade engagement. It works, it's common, and a lot of people use it. Here's the negative of it. Every time I engage the blades, I'm retensioning the belt, okay? So that's a little more wear and tear on the belt. Let's compare that over here. Let me hop over here to the TS-242. Okay, this has an electric clutch. So I pull this red button to engage the blades. On, off, on, off. Now, it's not just a matter of ease. Yes, it's nice to pull the button on and off. The bigger thing is, is this belt for the mower deck is always under tension. It's not loose, tight, loose, tight. It's always tight. So I'm not getting that engagement and stretching of a belt. So I love going to a uh, electric PTO clutch. We also go from a Briggs to a Kawasaki. Guys, Kawasaki engines, they're the ultimate. I wouldn't have any engine but a Kawasaki on a zero turn or on a tractor mower. Um, they're gonna give you the life, the performance, the serviceability. They're, they're known for that. Briggs work, and you know they match a certain series of tractors. So if I'm sticking with a lower cost machine, I'm not gonna waste my money putting a Kawasaki on there because that machine doesn't necessarily need a Kawasaki engine. So as we get up to the 200 series, we go to Kawasaki engine. Big thing here that I wanna point out is the clear cut deck. This is a fabricated deck. Stamp decks, that's what everybody uses. You're gonna see those on almost every mower. It's a piece of sheet metal, pop it, go. This one is cut, formed, welded. It's gonna give you longer life and better cut characteristics. One of the biggest things about this mower deck is the size of this opening and the lift of this blade. This blade has a huge wing. This opening is massive. That really helps disperse the clippings wider across your lawn so you get a better finish cut, uh, leaving you a, a nicer looking lawn. Also, because of that ability to get rid of the clippings fast, I can actually mow a little faster. And if we're looking to bag, this has the power to put the grass in the bag. Also, 
on the hydrostatic transmission, a little more comfortable. My pedals are side by side, not uh, one in front of the other. So I can actually just shift my foot over to go between forward and reverse. And then the TS200 series has a locking rear differential. So what's that mean? I'm going up a hill, one wheel slips, the other wheel grips. I'm on undulated terrain. I've got a little dip and divot here, a lot of mowers. I'm gonna get stuck and that wheel's gonna be spinning. So I shift my weight a little bit to get that other wheel to stick. This guy, Posi Traction kicks in and powers you through it. So 100 series, great for a small yard, great for a beginning riding mower. But as I move up to the 200 series, you'll notice the brush guard, the Kawasaki engine, the better transmission, definitely a step up in the mower deck. Check out the full line of Husqvarna riding mowers at Carl's Mower and Sour. We've got 42, 46, 48, and 52 inch lawnmowers, any size to fit your property's needs. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to share with you what we've got going on and keep you informed on lawn tips, new products, and how to take care of your equipment.